headed south, trying to find a place to camp. Maggie's asleep. Junie's still cute. I can't see anywhere to camp out there. It looks like there's snow everywhere. This is the road that I was planning on taking. Uh, that's before I realized there was this much snow. This track here, the forest, there's a dog in that box. The forest service came in and cleared the road. I can hear the plow, see how far it goes. Oh, there he is right there. So I'll talk to him and see what's going on. He's planning on having this open either later today or tomorrow. So what I'm gonna do is try to find a place down in the desert to camp and then I'll come back in the morning and I'll try to hit this because wouldn't this be awesome? There's a lake down there and it's not frozen over. All right, doggies, we're going to the desert. Scoot over. We'll have to turn around. Everything I see in front of me is white. There's snow everywhere in that direction. But when I look off to the left of me, which I would show you, but I've passed where you can see it, off to the left is dry ground. There's no snow. Whole different world. I've only traveled about 15 miles, and look how much this terrain has changed. The color of the sandstone is changing from white to red. I want to be on high ground so it's not so terribly cold at night. Beautiful spot we're in. This is gonna be fun. goat. Thank you, Levi. Levi hasn't been in my videos lately. He's had some health problems, uh, but he seems to be getting past him. What do you think, Levi? You ready to pack? He thinks he's still hooked up to the chain. Come here. Let's go. You can go. You're not hooked up anymore. You can go wherever you want. Watch. Look. Come on. Go find a snack. Do whatever you want. Then we gotta see if we can get Bill. He might give us some trouble. He almost had himself cornered there, but I didn't take advantage of it. Don't run away from me, buddy. That's never fun. Yeah, that's how you're gonna be. All right, well, I'll just pretend like I'm walking past you. Nope, you're not going for it. Nope. See if I back up to you. Nope, nothing's gonna work. You're just gonna run away from me. <laughs> no, Maggie, no. I don't need your help. Nope. Need a little bit of this, and hopefully I can convince him. What's that? You're already coming for some? Look at that. Oh, how yummy. Oh, I gotcha. That was a lucky snag. Looks like Levi's ready to go. He's just waiting. You can see these packs are not very heavy. I don't put very much weight on my goats, and I put even less weight on my dogs. Junie doesn't carry anything, 
I just put a pack on her for fun. And Maggie's only carrying food, the dog food. Which is not very much. Dogs aren't really equipped for packing. They don't have good bone structure for it. Goats are very well structured for packing. So they could carry a lot more weight than this and be just fine. No, Maggie, no. All right, there you go, buddy. Oh, right to the camera. Come on through, boys. There we go. Oh, there we go. We're on our way into the desert. That snow is crazy. It'll be interesting to see if I can actually get to that lake and do some fishing. I'm thinking fish and chips. That sounds good to me. So, ooh, here's a wash. Maybe I'll follow this wash up. Yeah, let's do that. This is perfect. What do you think, Maggie? Levi is right here by my side. That's where he always likes to stay. It's been probably more than a year since he's hiked with me. But he just is getting right back into the rhythm. Which is awesome. He's a good goat. Very loyal. Always right behind me, right with me. Bill will be way back. He'll be 50 feet, sometimes even 100 feet back. Where's Bill? Oh, he's not too far back. Let's see if we can find a place to camp and enjoy this beautiful desert. And then little Junie, pretty little Junie. Maggie, she's always just gone somewhere. Maggie! It's good to walk up these washes like this so you can avoid busting the crust. The cryptobiotic crust is very important to this environment, so we try to avoid stepping on it. Bill found a tree to take his frustrations out on. Levi likes to eat that dry, dead wood. He's always munching on that, but I wanted to show you this cryptobiotic crust. Look how healthy it is. That might be the best cryptobiotic crust I've ever seen. Pretty cool. What you doing, Maggie? What do you think? I have seen some evidences of other people hiking here. So this might be kind of a regular trail. I, you know, I'm just wandering around finding a spot. I didn't plan to come here at all. Just drove until I found a road that turned off and found a spot to park the truck and here we are. Pretty awesome though. This is the first time I've had the goats on sandstone. They're gonna love all the traction. Really beautiful. Everyone seems to be having fun. I keep going up because I don't want to be down in the bottom when all the cold starts to settle. The goats are doing great. They seem to like it out here. Wow, this is cool. I've come to the end of this uh, drainage here looks like 
Yep. It keeps going, but it's all rock. Look at that. I'd never find a soft place to sleep up there. But I guess I do have a pretty nice sleeping pad. Hmm. Good girl, Maggie. Good girl. Yeah, maybe we should just go on top of this rock. I don't think it's supposed to be windy. I wouldn't want to be up there if it were windy. My foot's a little tender. I have an ankle brace on. Uh, so hopefully it'll hold up to all this uneven terrain. And putting in a few miles. Let's see how the goats are dealing with this. Oh, Bill didn't come. So now he's got to figure it out. Let's see what he does. Hopefully he doesn't fall. Uh, I don't know, this might be a little too steep. I think I'm gonna go around a little ways. Even little Junie, finding her way. So cool. through here. Oh, nice. Kind of a lookout. Looks like it goes downhill from here. I may not want to go any further. Kind of wanted to get up on top of these rocks, but dang. What do you think, Maggie? You like it up here? You like the desert. Yeah, good idea. Stay away from the goats, you crazy dog. Well, the goats sure like it here. Maybe I'll kind of walk down this ridge and see if there's a nice place to camp. Pretty cool. Then once we took our packs off, we could hike around, maybe find a way up on top, but then just sleep right here on this bench. Oh, look at this, this is perfect. Up by those rock formations up there. So flatten out a little bit. Oof, pretty rocky. Yeah, let's see what's up here. But there's none of that crust up here on the top of this ridge, so this is perfect. Yeah, I could lay out a sleeping setup right there. It's not perfectly flat, but it's dang close right there. I think I'll take our packs off. I was thinking I should cover everything up. I've got this new heavy-duty poncho tarp. It's 
can, I'm going to use it mostly as a ground cloth. Uh, but it's heavy duty enough that you're not going to get a hole in your sleeping pad. So that was my whole intention, is mostly just to protect my sleeping pad. I feel like I could lay this out almost anywhere and not worry about getting holes in my sleeping pad. Maggie's teasing the goats. She has about three different kinds of herding dog in her. So we didn't know that when we got her. We'll cinch the hood nice and tight. I really don't think it's going to rain, but just in case it does, we're ready. All right, pups, let's see if we can get up on top of that mountain or at least somewhere we can get a good view. Starting to get a little breezy. Um, I might not be camped in the best location. In fact, when I look right over there, I see a really nice spot kind of right here on this bench. If it did rain though, I think this would have more potential for getting wet or for water to running to it. Uh, I don't know. I really don't think it's going to rain. But this is a pretty nice camping spot. I'll have to keep it in mind and think about it when we get back. I think I'm going to head up right here. They like the sandstone. Maybe I could get up here. Let's go, Maggie. They won't let the dogs run up behind them. They don't like it. <laughs> it was Maggie. Imagine that, Maggie be in trouble. Never. Oh man, there's no way I'm getting up that. Wow, this is so cool. Yeah, there's no way I'm climbing that, but it's a pretty cool spot to check out. Pretty interesting. Huh, I don't know if I could get up that. I don't know if I'd want to get back down. Really pretty view from up here. Cool spot. Maggie, stop teasing the goats. I think the goats like it as much as Maggie does. Such a cool rock. I'll 
kinds of caves and caverns going on with this one. That tree is so cool. Check out this spot I just found. It's kind of like the forest in the desert. I think it's beautiful. And it puts me in the shade. Woohoo! All right, I've set up the goat packs in such a way that I'm hoping that they will help block some of the wind. And that's where I'll set up my campfire. Uh, it's kind of a special camp out. I brought the kit pack and inside the kit pack I have the box pot. Those two items are in stock and shipping now. So it's time to celebrate. Yay! Pretty cool stuff. Pretty exciting. So I'm going to be cooking with the box pot to celebrate. And uh, I'm going to be doing it on the freestyle eight panel fire pit. And I'm going to set it up on the firebox folding table. This is a new item. I don't know how many of these we'll make, but this is just a, a sleeve for putting all the fire sticks into. And what this is, is a coffee spit case that was defective. It was sewn wrong. So we're cutting them and making them into fire stick holders. It doesn't have a closure. You just fold it over inside of your case. Your case will hold it folded. Put these in four spots around the edges, and that'll support our fire grate. Put the fire grate down in. I have a problem. My steak is frozen solid. So I built this little solar oven with a plastic bag. I was going to start cooking, but uh, my steak's hard as a rock. No, Bill, that's my steak. No, Bill, you don't eat meat. Bill. Bill, give me my steak. Maggie, no, I don't need your help. Bill. Bill. Thank you, Bill, for making a hole in my solar steak defroster. You just love being around goats, huh?
I was gonna relax with Junie, huh, Junie? Mm. With a beautiful view of a tree. Good girl. Good girl. I should teach you to collect firewood. I was gonna show you how I used my box pot as a hard case for my English muffins to keep them from getting smashed and beat up. I'm gonna get some water on to boil and uh, I'm gonna cook some potatoes. I'm gonna try to make shepherd's pie tonight. I have my plate and my cutting board back here. I've done this before and had it work out okay where I've used the top of my um, kit pack as kind of a little table, just like that. First, I gotta get my chef's knife out, which is right here. And then I think I can just kinda cut my potatoes right there. Come here, want some water? My potatoes are still just a little bit hard. They need just a little bit more time. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some beans in on top of them. I don't think the beans will take quite as long to cook and they can kind of steam up there on top. My beautiful beans. Maggie's very interested. Maybe she didn't get enough food. I don't know. I thought I brought extra, but they're always so hungry when we're camping. Let's check my beans. I think my potatoes are done. Ooh, yeah, those beans are perfect. I don't have all that much water, so I'm gonna go ahead and save this water so the dogs can still drink it. I just hate to waste any water when we're running low. We'll just set our beans and potatoes here. That box pot fits right there perfectly. So that'll keep them warm without continuing to cook them. Time to put my steak on. I think it's mostly thawed, not quite perfect, but you get what you get sometimes when you're camping and you just have to work with it. So we'll get that cooking. This is another pot that uh, we actually started this project before we started the box pot, but the box pot got finished first. Uh, but this is a butterfly handle with a bale handle and it's the 
space saver size. A little bit of a different size than anything that's on the market. So it's pretty fun that way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move my beans over in there and hope they'll stay hot. I think they will. Everything's staying hot in here, so hopefully that'll continue that way. I have a hole in this butter bag somewhere. Oh, there's the hole. Found it. So we'll go ahead and get a bunch of butter in here. That ought to be enough. Get some salt and pepper in these. Quite a bit of salt. Potatoes are usually pretty hungry for salt. Get some of this fresh cracked pepper. Rotate our potatoes. My dinner's starting to look really good. It's been perfect for just slow cooking my steak, but now I'm going to move my steak to the side so I can build this fire up. This is turning out really good. That's a lot of onions and garlic. That's gonna be good. Ooh, 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 look at those beautiful onions and garlic. in butter. Let's go ahead and get our mushrooms. I don't think mushrooms are supposed to be in shepherd's pie. Just slow cooking. Very small flame and some hot coals. I'm going to go ahead and add this tomato soup in with my onions, garlic, and mushrooms. I think I'll take it off that heat. Yeah, I'm going to set this down here. But I am going to move my pot up here where it can get some radiant heat. Notice how I'm cooking the steak off to the side of the flame. I'm using only radiant heat. That way it cooks slowly and more evenly. I'm hoping this will be edge to edge pink. But just really take your time and let that radiant heat do its work. Just letting that steak cook nice and slow. We've got our sauce with mushrooms, onion, and garlic. That's a tomato, uh, tomato butter sauce. And then in here we have our mashed potatoes and our green beans. We're having shepherd's pie tonight. Well, Maggie and Levi are still chasing each other around. That hasn't changed. Now Bill wants to get in on the fun, it looks like. He's just letting Maggie know who's boss. Who has the big tough horns. Huh, Levi? You enjoying this trip? It's good to have you back, buddy. I'm so glad you're feeling better. Now that that flame has gone out, I'm going to go ahead and put my steak directly over the hot coals. We're at 127 degrees now. We're almost there. Oh, 
I'll cut a couple pieces off from Maggie. But I'm not going to give them to her quite yet. Give some to Junie as well. No, Maggie. No, Maggie. No, Maggie. Go on. Go on. Out. She's dying. No, Maggie. Go on. Maggie, sit. Good girl, Maggie. Here. Okay. Go on. Put my plate right over the heat. It should warm up quite fast. Yeah, it's warming up. And then put the cheese on the bottom. I'm doing everything wrong as far as traditional shepherd's pie. Then I want to put my potatoes and my green beans on. Let's see if I can get that to just fall out. There we go. Just like that. We have our sauce, nice and hot. We'll save the rest of that for the dogs. Crack some fresh pepper. And some sea salt. No, Maggie. Looks like I have enough food here for about three of me. The plate is pretty hot. No, Maggie. Hey, out. I am surrounded by animals right now. I've got to show you. No, no, no. Okay, let me show you the animals here. All right, we've got Maggie. We've got me. I'm an animal. We've got Bill. Gracing us with his presence. And we have Levi. I don't know where Junie is. I have no idea. All right, let's go ahead and taste it. She's ready to just eat this right off my plate. And she's looking at the other animals like they're competition for it. So I'm glad Junie's not around because heaven only knows what Maggie might be capable of. All right, let's taste our first bite. This has been a lot of work. Mmm. Wow. That is good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. There's that cheese under there. All melted. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Ah, oh, this steak is so tender. I can just cut it with this fork. Mmm.
Good morning. <sighs> I wonder what time it is. Feels like about seven. Can't get to my phone. Too many zippers. Seven nineteen. Pretty frosty, there's frost on our sleeping bag. And everything's pretty dewy and wet. Except for Maggie, she's dry. She's still crazy. Junie, what you doing down there? Keeping my feet nice and warm. Good girl. Last night ended kind of abruptly because Junie had disappeared. She had hiked up over the hill and we couldn't find her. Ended up hiking all the way back to the truck. And then uh, found her on the way back to camp. She's just out exploring, I guess. Good morning, goats. Who knows if they even slept at all. Sometimes it doesn't seem like they sleep. Beautiful morning. Give you another view of camp here. I've got this beautiful pinion pine. That I uh, set up camp right here down below. And it's pretty messy. It always is. I'm a messy camper, I guess. The sun's just rising, just catching it right now. This wood is cold. It's burning much differently than it did last night. Slowly but surely. All right, let's get some water on for some coffee. And I have sausage, eggs, and English muffins. They're gonna be a tight fit. Maybe a bit of a squish. Mm -hmm. Oop, almost forgot my handles. Let me get those folded out. Let's put a focus on the water. We can let the sausages work a little more slowly. Nice. cup. It's not going to last long there. Let's see how our sausages are doing. They're moving pretty slowly, which is exactly what I want. I'll just rotate them every now and then. No, Maggie. Hey, Maggie. No. 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 You stay. No. Maggie, no. Let's 
Let's see what my sausages are looking like. Ooh, they're looking good. I just need to keep rotating them. Coffee time. Mm, that's good. Lovely. Sausages are looking lovely. I think I'm going to do three eggs. I want those eggs to move slow. They'll be nice and tender. Enjoying that morning sunshine? I think what I'm gonna do is just set this right down onto the hot coals. Warm them up. I'm actually going to do them the smooth side down so they don't get so much ash in all the little pores and holes. I don't think I'll need much salt, maybe just a little bit. Pepper's always a good idea. We've got all that sausage that will salt it pretty well. That way they'll just fill these English muffins right up. Oh, look at that. That's a lovely little sandwich right there. Mm-hmm-hmm. I've got three of these English muffins. Breakfast is served. Isn't that nice? Mm. That's good. Time for breakfast sandwich number two. I don't want to lose any of that preciousness. Ooh. There we go. Lovely. Get everything put away. There we go. Just go through and wipe those all down. Only takes a swipe or two. And then these that are down at the bottom, uh, they don't really need to be wiped down so much. There's a little bit of ash on them. Just let all the ash fall down in. Just kind of brush off the ash from the fire grate. Then I'll usually just do a quick wipe of the inside panels, just knocking the ash off. Once that's done, you can hold it up just like that, and then that's ready to go into it. I have a little canvas bag that I keep it in.
not super necessary, but it does come in a little bit handy. I'm going to move all this ash into one pan. And then I'm going to go bury it. It doesn't need to be real deep, just under the surface so there's no way it could start a fire. And this sand is wet, so it'll be perfect. Just like that. These ashes aren't really hot anyway. There were just a few very small little hot coals, so that'll be just fine. All right, let's take a look at this table. Oh, we did get a little hot right there. Set that up on the ground, I guess. The carbon felt doesn't really insulate. Bill, you have a tree on your head. Let me help you with that. It was stuck on there pretty good. Is that better? Just a little bit of reclamation and uh, After the next storm or so, you won't even be able to tell I was ever here. I think we're probably about halfway to the truck now. Just beautiful little desert, so quaint, so peaceful. Very nice. Very enjoyable. Time to go see if we can make it to that lake. <laughs> made it back to the snow and it's time to see if we can make it down to the lake. We'll see if we can catch a fish. The road's still going. The one thing I am worried about is just how muddy this road is becoming. If I have to back all the way out of this, all right, so the Forest Service guy said that he thought we could make it to the lake. He hasn't plowed all the way to the lake, but he thought we'd make it. So, let's go. Maggie loves the snow. It's perfect for her. The goats aren't so sure. Lovely little creek here. Down here in the shadows of these trees, a little bit hard to see. Following that forest service guy down, hopefully he'll help us get down to the lake. I can never video Levi because he's just right behind me. He's right under my arm, basically. So it's hard to get any footage of him. Bill's happy to go in front or behind. Sometimes he trails way off behind. So now it's just one track wide. So he's just busting this trail for me pretty much. Looks like he's gonna try to get me down to the lake. Which is awesome. Thank you. The snow doesn't look terribly deep, but I didn't bring gators or anything. Now we get to see if the goats will go past this guy with the machine actually running. Not Maggie though. She's stuck in her pack. Oh, she's stuck in her pack. Hold on. Stay. Come on. Yeah, Bill doesn't like that machine. 
Maggie's loving it. Uh-oh, cattle guard. Dang it. How do I do with that? Ooh. Yeah, I don't like it either. The dogs can get around it. Maybe the goats can go under. Okay, Levi, you first. Turn into a dang fiasco. This is pretty interesting. Uh, I think that's a dog box for some cougar hunters. Probably have hounds, and it looks like they went that way. And it's probably too difficult of a trail to handle having that trailer, so they're just making the dogs run. It's coming down into the valley. It's really pretty. You can see the red rock formations off in the distance. We have been hiking for quite a while now. <laughs> this is turning out to be a pretty long hike. So I hope I can see the lake when I get down around this corner. Uh, that's always how it goes. The animals are doing good. That turn in the road, that was a long time ago. And then just now I passed a sign saying that it would be another mile. So. We gotta keep on trucking. We can do it. Where's Maggie? There's Junie. We're about to crest this hill. Maybe we'll be able to see something. Such a beautiful day. I couldn't hope for better. I see the lake. I see it, it's over here. It's right behind these trees. Oh, that's awesome. Maybe we'll be able to see it. The trees are pretty thick. Oh, there it is. Nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. I've never fished this lake before. I really don't know where a good place to fish would be. I doubt if there's any fish in there. I don't know. Super pretty though. down here it was pretty windy but now it's calm and nice. That beauty. Yeah. All right, we have dinner. Look at that beauty. Wow. I have my camp kitchen all set up. I used the goat packs as a big wind block because the wind was just coming across the lake. 
and uh, right here at us. And so I've got two layers of goat pack. Then I've got the nano stove set up with the wood flame gas burner. I'm trying to get my shadow out of the shot. So the gas burner is attached. I'm gonna cut up my potatoes into french fries and I'm going to deep fry some fish and chips. I want to make them pretty small fries so they don't take a long time to cook. So, we'll see how this goes. I do have some Hakata spice with me, so there's no doubt that this will be delicious. Junie always does a lot better if we give her a home base, but it looks like I had to spread that out so Maggie has a place to lay down because she's kind of pacing. I think she's finally worn herself out. Let's put our first fries in, see how this goes. A little too much heat mixed with a little too much cold. Looks like I got that oil plenty hot. I'm just going to turn them down a little bit. Plenty of heat, huh? Holy smokes. Ooh, they look good. All right, we've got our Hakata Spice. And Hakata spice is salt. It is a salt. So it's almost more like a salt blend. Uh, there's a lot of different spices and stuff in it, but, uh, but it is a salt base. Oh, geez, I can't pick these up nearly as well as I'd hoped I would. There we go. I just got to figure out my method. Ooh, these look good though, huh? Turn that back up just a little bit. Add just a little bit more oil. But I'm not going to let it get nearly as hot as it got last time. Hopefully. Alright, let's put some salt on our fries. Try these beauties out. Little Hakata Spice. I've never tried Hakata on potato before, but I've never found anything I didn't like it with. It's just plain good. Mm. Wow, those are good. And they are cooked all the way through. Oh man, those are good. I have the goats tied up to the willows so they won't bug me too much. Well, let's put some more in and hope it's not quite as exciting as last time. Maybe I'll just put a little bit in first. I don't usually fillet my fish. It's been a little while since I've done this, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to pull it off. I'm gonna get right against the spine. Should have sharpened my knife, I think. Hoo hoo hoo. Beautiful fries.
I'm actually working on a fryer basket for the five-way cast iron cookware. We're hoping to produce that ourselves. We have a CNC punch press that we purchased a little while back and we haven't been able to use it because we don't know how to. Um, but we're trying to get past that learning curve and trying to start getting some use out of it. Throw some Hakata on them while they're nice and hot. Hoo -hoo -hoo. I think I'm going to cut my fish into smaller pieces. And you'll notice I'm leaving the skin on. I have a lot of people tell me that's the best part. And they get quite upset if I don't eat the skin. So I figure this is a situation where the skin has the potential to get crispy. Let's hope that's what happens. Now this, uh, this fish is a little bit wet, so I'm a little bit worried about putting them in that hot oil. I don't like my trout overcooked, so let's see if we can get it out. I think I'm going to try it like that. Okay, I have a couple more pieces of trout that I dried off with the paper towel. Hopefully it won't spit and spatter quite so much. A little lemon juice and a little Hakata spice. Between those two, these, this fish should taste pretty darn good. Looks so good. Ooh, look at that. That is just beautiful. Oh, that's definitely cooked all the way through. Crispy skin on the bottom. Mmm, that skin is delicious. Mmm. Wow, that's good. Look at those beautiful pieces. Hmm. What a beautiful meal. Let's put this last piece of fish in. Ooh, almost too hot to handle, but I think I can do it. Ooh, yeah, a little too hot still. Oh, the meat is just so flaky. Mmm, I think that's still really hot. Catch. Good girl. You ready? Good catch. Good girl. Fresh caught trout and french fries right here on the side of the lake. Here we are, folks. Lakeside dining. Maggie sure likes it. I have been enjoying my kit pack. It's just amazing how much stuff you can put in it, and I've been loving doing the utensils right there. Considering I was able to catch a fish that quick, kind of have my fun and cook my dinner, and I still have quite a bit of daylight left. Rather than camp here in this wet snow, I'm going to hike back to my truck and 
head home. My feet are wet too, so I'm gonna head home. I've got the goats all packed up. I just need to throw on my pack. Go ahead and go then. Nothing left to do but doing it. It's a long hike and it's gonna be pretty soft. Really soft and muddy. Um, my foot's already hurting a little bit, but uh, it'll probably hurt tomorrow too. So. Whatever, let's do it. I'm leaving stuff behind here. Oh, be a nice little present for somebody. Let's see if this throws you off balance if I put this in here. And we're off. Good girl, Junie. And I've already got a whole bunch of snow in my boot. Yay! I really do like this view, aiming up at the mountain instead of the valley. It is a beautiful lake and it was fun having it to myself. I must say, it's pretty cool because this is generally a pretty popular spot. It's just filling up. Can you see the water running right into it? Yeah, it's really warm. It's got to be at 60 degrees at least. Yeah, it's going to be messy getting out of here. I wanted to get up to this point right here because it's just such a pretty view in almost every direction. Hey, Bill. Okay. Perseverance is the key. One foot in front of the other. Sing hallelujah. What do you think, Bill? Hallelujah. Maggie and Bill leading on. I'm hoping we're pretty close. I think my truck's around the corner, but it might be another corner beyond that corner or two. It's an awesome place to be in the middle of nowhere. It's very nice. Hey, Maggie. You're still going, aren't you? <laughs> uh, good girl. Full of beans, that dog. See the truck up there? We finally made it. Just before dark. Perfect. Whoo! What a trip. I'm tired. Thanks, everyone. Bye.